What's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Due to the lack of editing software, we're going to be discussing and blasting some Stress Angel self-titled six tracks of killer thrashing classic sounding death metal from New York on Stygian Black Hand. Wow, this is fucking awesome. It sounds classic, but at the same time, very fresh. It's fucking dialed. Like, I really, really fucking love this. Like, Stygian Black Hand have just been absolutely on fucking fire. Fire since that Primitive Warfare demo I missed last year. I feel like every release has just gotten better and better and better. I never grabbed that Holder 7-inch. Really should have done that because she's just amazing Like when it comes to just more of a traditional black metal sense. But here we have six tracks of kind of Aura Noir vibing death metal. It sounds b blackened at times, but at mostly it's very, very thrash oriented, classic 90s sounding death metal without trying to sound like it's from the 90s. It just has this fucking ancient sounding vibe to it. And it's on the fucking money, though. Like, this is so good. And I'm pretty sure this is Stress Angel's, like, debut as well. So these six songs are just... Wow. I'm pretty sure... Like, I don't really know who's in this band. But I was told... You know who's in this band. It was one of those very cryptic statements, so I, I'm kind of guessing I know who's in this band, and the vocals are very familiar, but that could be anybody, but I'm pretty sure I know who's behind this. But all I could say is, hail Satan, fuck the world, and get into Stress Angel. <laughs> this is so fucking sick. Like, I, I know I say it all the fucking time, but boy do I mean it here with Stress Angel. This is currently sold out, and I really should have reviewed this sooner, because I know they're going to make a second press of this. I'm, I'm sure of it, because mostly everybody I told to check this out ended up buying a copy and if they didn't, they were just like, if I had money right now, I would buy this because it's fucking awesome. And I agree with them. It straight up sounds like a long lost EP from not, like the East Coast in the 90s. It just has that fucking vibe to it. It's evil sounding, and that's where I really, really get, like, the aura noir vibes from it. Like, it just reminds me of it from the vocals, just that kind of blackened death metal with thrashy elements. Like, whoa. Stress Angel, nail that sound. Like, I know I said it yesterday, but like, Christ to the Cross, and it's very, very fitting for Stress Angel to nail that. Just look at that cover art. It's fucking awesome. Their logo. Sleazy and awesome and classic looking. It's why Stygian Black Hand is so fucking good of a record label. They know what fucking good underground metal is. They make it available, 100 cassette tapes, first run. If it sells, then fuck yeah, they'll do another press most likely. And I feel like that's going to be the case with 
Dress Angel self-titled. And this has six tracks on it. This could easily be on vinyl, but it sounds great on cassette. Especially with like the super reverby vocals. I, I love sometimes when vocals just sound like they were recorded in an echo chamber. It's just fucking cool as shit. And I need to get into some Accursed Womb stuff in a minute because we have a special guest mixing and mastering our new song. And we got the rough mix back yesterday. And holy fucking shit. Like... Oh my god, I am so, so proud of what we did with this new song by working with this individual. And I'm not gonna drop, I might have dropped his name already, like in a past video, but I'm gonna wait until we release the demo digitally. Hopefully we make enough money to do the DIY tape release ourselves. If anyone else is interested, hit us up so we can get a CD out and a cassette so everybody can get a copy of the demo. But for right now, if you really want to help us out, grab a digital version. It drops on Halloween. But as soon as that drops, there's going to be some new shit dropping for promo tape number two. And I'm not going to go into that because we're talking about some killer thrashing death metal from New York. Stress Angel on Stygian Black Hand. This, like I was saying, six tracks of just total classic sounding thrashy blackened death metal. Like exposure to a disease, godless shrill flaming kingdom, Fuck yeah. Angel of Stress, Starving in a Closet. And track number six, Final Doom. Oh, this is so goddamn good, seriously. If you like your death metal, thrashy, ancient sounding, and just fun to listen to, and very evil sounding Stitch and Black Hand have you covered with New York City's Stress Angel it's badass shit seriously like not just saying that like listen to this pretty positive I know who's on vocals here just based on the vocal delivery I just didn't want to guess and be wrong but yeah stress angel they obviously don't want you know anybody knowing who's involved with this project or fire magic but both bands and Stitch and Black Hand just absolutely Hitting that home run straight to fucking hell. I, I love it. One of the best labels in the game. And I don't care what anybody says. It's not just because, like, 
I'm fucking cool with the label or anything like that. I fucking firmly believe in the power of SBH. Seriously. And Stress Angel is just another example of how good this record label is. It's not just war metal. It's not just black metal. They have all bases covered. That Larva promo from earlier this year, still so fucking good. It's actually right next to me. Because I'm going to listen to it in a little bit. And this was one that really, you know, caught me off guard coming from Stitch and Black Hand. Like, this is some nasty, nasty death metal from overseas. And, you know, they were rad enough to put it out. And then you have, like, for example, let me grab this. And, fuck, I was listening to it last night. God damn it. I'm sorry. Fuck me. Well, alright, well this is close enough because this is a badass release too. And here it is. Of course, it was right up front because I listened to it last night. But like, putting out, you know, Left Cross, which again is some crusty, killer death metal. And then putting out some savage fucking bestial black death war metal in the form of Antichrist Siege Machine with filth to the world filth of the world, I'm sorry for some reason I just got this confused with like a Christmas ornament and for some reason my I thought joy to the world instead of filth of the world, the obviously complete fucking opposite and then, you know, badass demos from bands that you probably didn't know existed, like Abhorrency. This is, again, so fucking good, and I don't hear people talk about it. Like, these three maniacs right here. Ejaculator, Upheaver, and Sex Slayer. Like, they fucking killed this demo. It's so fucking good. I don't know why people don't talk about it. And you have Side True, which has three tracks, and then Side False, which is blank. It's not really blank, but I, I, I like the fucking humor involved there. But Stitch and Black Hand, like, they don't fuck around. Like, Prophecy of Conquest is so good. Again why no one's really talking about how good the new left cross is boggles my mind asm they're on the tongues of some people i talk to and stress angel recently has really been you know making the rounds in my friends circle like i've been pushing this on a lot of people and I want to push it on you maniacs as well. But when it comes to Left Cross... Another underrated fucking gem of a record is Chaos Ascension. By Left Hand. I don't... Again, I don't know why more people do not worship the altar of Left Cross. If you've ever seen them live as well, holy fuck. Same with Antichrist Siege Machine. They are both amazing live and have Scott on drums, who is just a goddamn fucking maniac behind the kit. And he does drums and vocals with ASM. But we were here to talk about the thrashing death metal assault of the six track self-titled from Stress Angel on Stygian Black Hand. Six tracks of thrashing black death metal. If you don't like it, you're probably a cop. Get into it. I know it's sold out right now, but look around on some distros. Check out Caligari, Head Split, Life After Death, 
or even like message, you know, Stitch and Black Hand. Maybe they still have some copies. Nuclear War Now, I don't know. Whoever would carry some SBH releases probably has some copies of the cassette. Like, this is something that's not to be slept on, especially if you're a fan of this style of death metal. Ancient, yet very, very new, and fucking so refreshing. It legit sounds like, you know, as filthy as it sounds, it's very, very refreshing. It doesn't sound like a lot of other bands. Like, this sounds like something right now that would come out of Chile. Like, that kind of just ancient, thrashy, death metal vibe, but still has that East Coast filth attached to it. Stress Angel, self-titled, fuck yeah. More essential death metal for 2020. Some of you might be like, this doesn't sound like death metal. It's death metal. It's just thrashy, blackened death metal. Trust me, this is fucking so good. Get into it. Even if it's just digitally, do what you gotta do to get into this. Because it's worth your time. And probably my favorite track on here, Flaming Kingdom. It's just... So good. It is, as I normally say, pure fire. So get into it. And if you are new to the label, they're fucking great. Stitch and Black Hand. Killer fucking label. Seriously, I need to get that fucking body bog. Ah! Or bog, bog, body, body, bog. I'm drawing a fucking mind boner. Bog body. Blah! But I need to get this split with primi Primitive Warfare so fucking bad. I love this bad boy right here. This is a great vinyl release on Stitch and Black Hand as well. Bog body. So definitely, that's through the burial bog. Get into Stitch and Black Hand if you haven't already. And Stress Angel self-titled. This is so goddamn good. It's everything that I could want out of a release like this. Fuck yeah, boys. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails to Stitch and Black Hand for sending this my way. I didn't have this pre-ordered or anything. This was donated to the channel along with uh, Fire Magic. And those are like some of my favorite releases currently. And, you know, they've been killing it in 2020. And it just goes on and on with gnarly fucking shit. I love it. So keep up the good work at SBH and get in to Stress Angel. Awesome, awesome stuff. Like I was saying, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. <laughs>